Hey, Mother. Boy, what a nice surprise. I'm so happy that you came. Oh, I know how much work Bridget put into this party. I know. I hope it goes just exactly as she planned it. Okay. Everyone? Hi. <laughs> I just wanted to take a minute to thank you all for coming. I know how much Mom and Whip appreciate your support. This family has a reputation of coming together in a crisis. But it's really nice to know that we can also come together in a celebration. And that's what this is. I mean, this is not just a celebration of Mom and Whip's engagement, but of this family's strength and unity. So everybody, please just have a good time and relax and welcome the newest members of our family, Whip Jones and his mom, Joy. Oh, thank you. I need to talk to you for a second. Deacon, we can't talk, not here. Brooke, you can't go through with this wedding. Look, we have to stop this and we have to stop it right now. So, Joy, tell us, did this engagement surprise you too? Yes, it did. Though I suppose I should have seen it coming. So you knew Whip and my mom were involved? I didn't know how serious it had gotten. But you support their engagement. Yes, of course she does. <laughs> I just want my son to be happy. Well, Mom, then you should be turning cartwheels because your boy is ecstatic. <laughs> oh. Thorne, hey, yeah, hey, how buddy. are you? Um, good, good. Listen, I'd like for you to meet uh, my mother. Oh, sure. Uh, will you all excuse me for just a moment, please? Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Jones. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You can please. I can't handle this right now. Excuse me, bartender. I'd like a little word with my fiance. Would you back off, Whipple? I'm talking to her. Mm, not anymore. Come on, Brooke. Our guests are going to wonder where you ran off to. tomorrow and then Deacon Sharp will be out of your life for good. Well, hey, Ridge. Nice to see you here. I thought that you'd be so busy at the office that you wouldn't make it. Yeah, well, listen, on that note, I wanted to remind you no one is to know I'm running Spectra. We don't want to lose that element of surprise, do we? This secret is going to make us a fortune, and it's going to put Forrester Creations permanently out of business. I'm surprised to see you here. Well, I promised Bridget. Good. You seem a little nervous. I'm fine.
Stephanie, hi. You enjoying the party? Why aren't you with Brooke? Well, she's inside. Of course. And why would she be out here with you when she can be inside with the father of the baby? <sighs> I know exactly what's going on, you stupid bastard. Playing games like this with my family, trying to take advantage of this situation. Mrs. Farser, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're Don't play about. dumb and dumber with me. Brooks confessed everything to me. Look, I really don't think this is the time or the place to get into this. Bridget is just in Bridget is in there thinking that you and her mother are a wonderful couple, making this engagement party. Have you stopped to think what will happen if she finds out the truth? She won't. You're really gonna go through with this? You're gonna marry Brooke? And you're gonna raise this baby? Yes. Why? What's in it for you? Money. No, a wife and family. She doesn't love you. Yes, but I love her. And I'm gonna love this baby just as much as well. You're serious. Stephanie, I wanna keep this secret just as much as you do. I don't wanna hurt anybody, not Bridget. Not Brooke or this baby. Let me tell you, I don't give a damn about Brooke. And if I thought that Bridget could handle it, I'd sit her down and tell her myself. But she loves her mother. Despite all the disappointments and the unhappinesses that she's caused her, she loves her That's mother. That's not gonna happen this time, all right? Brooke has accepted my proposal. She's aware of what is at stake. She's not gonna let Bridget down. Whip, this marriage has to last. I know, and it will. I just gotta get her away from Deacon. He's determined to get her no matter what. No matter what, if it destroys everything in her life. Everything she cares about. You can't let that happen. You gotta keep them apart somehow. Stephanie, you can count on me. Brooke will get over Deacon. All we have to do is get her to that altar. Brooke, please, you have to listen to me. Deacon, don't do this. It's over. Stephanie knows you're pregnant with my child. She's not going to say anything to Bridget. She can't. Of course she is. Bridget's going to find out. It's inevitable. Look, I know this isn't going to be easy, but she has to hear it from us. Please, you don't love Whip. This isn't gonna work. Why can't you see that? Okay, Deacon, that's enough. What's the matter with you? What are you doing sneaking around with him at this party? I told you I didn't want to be here. It doesn't matter what you want. This is for your daughter. Now go over there and tell her you're having a wonderful time. How many times do I have to tell you to stay away from her? She's going to marry him. There's nothing you can do about it. How's it going, Zenday? Great. Erica, you enjoying yourself? Uh, yes, Mr. Dominguez. I'm having a really nice time. Good. Is um, Zenday introducing you to everyone? Well, it's a family affair. I, I didn't want to intrude. You're not intruding. You're my date. Uh, yes, I, I guess I am your date. You see? Okay, well, um, you two have fun getting to know each other. Erica? Amber, hi. What are you doing here? You know Amber? Uh, yeah, we met a few weeks ago. Erica, how do you know Zende? I'm an assistant to school. Dad said I can invite her to the party. Oh, that's that's cool. You guys must be pretty good friends. Uh, yeah, actually, we're uh, we're really good friends. <laughs> I was totally shocked when I found out that uh, he was related to you. You didn't know? No, it was a complete coincidence. 
seem to have a lot of those. Yeah, we've been running into you everywhere. Well, this isn't really a coincidence. I knew you would be here, and I almost said no when Zendi asked me to come. I didn't want you to think I was stalking you or something. But how often do you get invited to a Forrester party by the most handsome guy in the room? Oh, well, I don't know. I think this little guy right here might give Zende a run for his money. <laughs> yeah, he could. He bought me a Fletcher. Really? That's, that's pretty cool. Did you thank her? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Eric and Erica. Like grandpa's name. Well, Eric's a family name, Zende. Is it like that with your family, too? No, my mom just liked the sound of the name, I guess. So, uh, how have you been, Amber? I've been working. Oh, she's been doing great. You guys must be really excited about your mom's wedding. It's at your house, right? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> well, look, if you need anybody to help out with little Eric, I'd be glad to babysit. Well, we'll be fine, but, but thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Is it my imagination, or do you notice something strange about this party? I wouldn't know, Doc. I'm not really in the party mood right now. Well, apparently nobody is. Your, your mother is very tense. Your dad's on edge, and I've hardly seen Brooke anywhere. And Deacon and Whip haven't even acknowledged us. <laughs> Did you expect them to? I'm surprised we were even invited to this. I don't know. I just... I get the feeling something else is going on here. It was nice of you to come, Mrs. Jones. Honey, come on, there's no need to be so formal. I mean, we're almost family. It's a shame we haven't gotten to know each other better. I feel like my son is marrying a stranger. <laughs> Mom, come on. I mean, don't think of it as losing a son. You're, you're gaining a grandbaby. Mm -hmm. This is your third child, Brooke? Yes. I just had one whip. The apple of her eye. He's a good man. Yes, he is. It's the way he was raised. We're a God-fearing family. We believe in honesty, integrity, the sanctity of marriage. Mom, look, you don't have to worry. Brooke is going to take good care of me. I, I don't mean to sound preachy. But this is your first marriage, Whip. And I know Brooke's been married before. Several times. I just hope this is going to be your last. My son really cares for you, my dear. I'd hate to see him get hurt. Mom. Oh. Nobody's going to get hurt, all right? Brooke and I are going to be very, very happy together. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweetheart? <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Are you all right? Stephanie, have you talked to Mom? Briefly. Why? I just get the feeling something's bothering her. I think she's just tired. Planning a wedding's a lot of work. I know, I shouldn't worry. I just don't want to jinx it. I mean, she's always had such bad luck with men. Oh, I think that's over now. <laughs> Whip is a nice fellow. I think he's going to be a valuable asset to the family. You don't think she's getting cold feet? No, I don't think she is. But if she does, I'll hold them right to the fire. So don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Thorn. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. You know, we miss you at Forster. It's, uh, it's not the same without you. Hmm. Maybe you should have thought of that before you all voted me out. Come on, man. You landed on your feet. Look at you, Marone Industries. And a big corner office, you know. You're a shipping tycoon. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. What's done is done. I'm moving on. Yeah? So you, you really like the job? Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting, yeah. Starting over in a new business, new focus. I haven't felt this energized in years. Yeah, I can tell you got your old swagger back. Yeah. Building a new business from the ground up, Thorn. I'll tell you, when I'm finished with this, I guarantee you the payoff is going to be enormous. Everybody, I'm sorry to interrupt again. <laughs> But uh, Stephanie just said something to me that I want to share with all of you. She paid Whip an incredible compliment. She told me that he's going to be a valuable asset to this family. And I agree. We might not know him very well yet, but we've seen the man he is. Whip has been a dedicated and loyal employee of Forrester Creations for years. And I have no doubt that he's gonna be just as dedicated and loyal to my mother and their baby. This wedding marks the beginning of a new era for the Foresters. It's brought us all together again. It's eclipsed all of the scandal and turmoil of the last few months. It's reminded us what's really important. Relationships. The connection we share with other people that's what makes us happy. That's what brings us joy. It's not our jobs. It's not wealth or success or fame. It's the people we love who fulfill us and bring meaning to our lives. I found that kind of satisfaction with my husband. Deacon has brought so much joy to my life. I. I can't even imagine my life without him. I'm sorry. Mom, I am just so thrilled that you found that same kind of happiness with Whip. Here, here. Thank you. That was beautiful. Mom, I'm so happy for you. I love you. Thank you, honey. You're going to marry Whip and raise that baby. You're going to do that, and you're going to forget all about Deacon Sharp. I'm so happy for my mom. Never believe where I am. I'm at Brooke Logan's engagement party. Erica, your mom's totally freaking out. What? I guess I have a bad connection. I can barely hear you. I'm at your house. Your mom called me over here. What? She's going crazy. She got the credit card bill. She knows you're in LA. Oh my god. She's been screaming at me for an hour. She's having a conniption. You have to do something. No! No, wait! Mom, just calm down. Look, I'm okay, but I I'm not coming home. Fine. Then I'm coming to LA. Do you hear me? I'm coming to get you. Oh, my God. She's coming. She's coming here. 